Good. I wanted to ask you something. My mother and I have a weekly dinner thing. I was gonna meet her in Ravain. Wanna come? Fresh food. And I want her to know you're good to work with. Sure. You are late. And you brought a guest. I brought wine. I do not drink alcohol. Tosh did not tell you, just as she did not tell me, that you would join us. <laughs> I don't smell the ISCOP. We always have ISCOP on Tuesdays. I am not yet finished with my studies. I thought you would help me tonight. And by help, you mean do it all. You haven't even chopped the melons. You swing axes all day. Do you lack the strength to chop a few melons? <sighs> the runes on the tablet are written in the old Kunari tongue, but they are incomplete. So they never finished it? No. It is clearly finished, but parts of letters have been hidden somehow, rendering the tablet unreadable. What if it's got some kind of secret code so that only the right people can read it? That is unlikely. I have studied the first expedition for decades. I have never seen the writing encoded. What do you mean, the first expedition? Your history teaches that Kunari landed on Thedas 300 years ago, in the Steel Age. This is true, but incomplete. Almost a thousand years earlier, the first expedition came only to vanish. They were Kunari who predated the Kuhn itself. That is what I study. Here, food's ready. This is not Iskap. It was gonna take too long. I wanted to hear about the tablet. Did you? Yeah. Well, as I said, it is at least a thousand years old. Haran Arad's a sum. More emphasis. The sentence is a march, not a race. Hera Marad Zesham. I'm trying. I'm glad you came. Panahidan. <sighs> Thanks for coming. She used she. You haven't told her yet. I was going to. Then we got here and she was... like that. You'll do it when you're ready. Maybe you could tell her? Um, well, if that's what you want. <laughs> Nah, she'd kill you. I'll tell her. She deserves to know. This isn't about her. You do what's right for you. Thanks. You don't seem happy about your brother. Well, sort of, but also not. It's complicated. You thought he was dead. Now he's alive. Which is good that he's not dead, I mean. But it's not him. Well, it is, but he's working with Anoris. It was easier before. I could think of the good things. Now he's back and I have to, I don't know, fix him? He's alive. That's a start. I hope so. Hi, 
Hi, Emric. You've uh, got a guest. Ah, Rook. You remember the Hand of Glory? Hard to forget. You figure out what those Venatori who broke into the necropolis were doing with it? The Hand is how they broke in. The simpler undead are blind to its bearer when its tapers are lit. Sadly, only a death mage could have provided them with this forbidden necromancy. If they're helping the Venatori, that has to stop. Agreed. I've made some inquiries. This man is one of the Death Mage's victims. If he knows where this rogue necromancer is hiding, my corpse whispering will give us the answer. Uh, that is a bad way to die. The other Watchers are attempting to find his family, at the least. I must warn you, it will be harder to coax answers from this poor man than from the dead I spoke to in the necropolis. Let flame rekindle your sight. Let breath and light rise again. Who did this to you? Eyes hidden, dust and gold. Give us a name. They come for this one. The spirits shriek. They come. A name? Black Lord. Ah, <sighs> return to your rest. We've got to stop this. Whoever killed him wasn't gentle. Wondrous and terrifying are the revelations of the dead. Did that name he said mean anything? Blackthorn Manor is an abandoned country house outside Navarra City. Our victim mentioned spirits. If they've also fallen prey to forbidden magic, they'll need our help as well. Let's depart for Blackthorn when you're ready. I'd like to speak to the necromancer behind all this. So, Blackthorn Manor. Ugh. Let's hope that necromancer working with the Venatori is around. There's a malaise amongst the spirits here. Some form of confinement. This must be the place. Right. So why'd we bring that? Oh, it's essential we have the Hand of Glory. It is so hard not to make fun of something called a hand of glory. What's so amusing about it? Really? You don't, uh, with the, the name? No? Never mind. The magic laid upon a hand of glory is complex. Whoever killed its donor left their mark. So, it'll lead us to whoever cut it off. Precisely. Most likely the necromancer who's been helping the Venatori. It would have taken extraordinary skill to layer the involutions on this artifact. <sighs> what a waste of talent. Bet whoever owned that hand agrees with you. We'll put an end to whatever's happening in this manner. That, I promise. Forbidden necromancy can twist spirits. We must find this death mage and stop whatever they've done to them.
notice? There are far fewer corpses here than there should be. Where are they? I suspect the necromancer in this place has already helped themselves to these crypts. There's a rogue necromancer here. They forgot to lock the door. The Hand of Glory's magic points inward to the northeast. Let's go look. <sighs> Shivers. Maybe there's a key. These sigils. They can't be. evocation with an inversion in the higher seals our rogue necromancer has hidden something terrible behind this door can you open it the door seals are drawing on magic elsewhere in the manor fueled by suffering let's put an end to that and get this door open the hand of glory points to the northeast and southwest about the texture of the fade here. That's never good. It's been deliberately thinned. The spirits press closer than they should.
No. What have they done? This looks bad. Sacrifices. Both spirit and human. And demons. Spirit bound here. Ah! Emmer? Someone's been harvesting their terror. Their souls! How dare they? What are they? Th Come, I can sense another spirit trapped here in the mansion. spirit has already weakened its seals. Halfway there. Fighting to welcome us, but don't they ever burn out? It's a surprisingly complex enchantment. The flame is a variation of veil fire that never burns the wick. It takes half a year to prepare each one. Huh. Must save a lot of beeswax. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone live here anymore? No one knows why the Blackthorns abandoned their manor. Rumor hinted at a family tragedy. A perfect spot for our wayward necromancer to work unnoticed.
Feels like there's eyes on us. This section of the house seems displeased to host new guests. Perhaps we've discovered a hint of what drove away the Blackthorns. Another victim. the life, the essence of people who knew they were facing death. The effects persist, but the door we saw earlier should be unsealed. Hope that necromancer we're after is behind it.
All the seals have been extinguished. Excellent. Let's open that door. Someone's torn a path into the Fade. It's imperative we find and stop this necromancer from keeping the Fade open. I'll be right with you. Once my stomach figures out which way is up. <laughs> This looks upset. This necromancer we're after corrupted it. Fortunately, I can calm the poor things when they're in this state. Still points the way. Dead means we're getting close, right? Our rogue necromancer knows exactly where we are. Why have they gone to such lengths to drain power from spirits? Down there, more victims. I don't see that rogue necromancer yet. I suspect they're nearby. Let's inspect their handiwork.
Wait as always, Professor. It can't be. But what else would one expect from Navarra's most eminent meddler? Johanna Hesenkos. You've met? Oh, the Professor and I have known each other for ages. But only one of us realized the Watchers are no place for a mage with ambition. So she's an evil Watcher? That's great. Only if she's beyond hope. Spare me your sanctimonious bleating. No. The stolen life in that lantern could permanently tear open the fade here. Correct. Only the foolhardy would shed blood near it in this state. So, let the Watchers mourn your pathetic death in the fade, Emric Volcaren. Those that are left after my return. No. What is she planning? Emmerich, are you okay to fight? Yes. You haven't took the lantern away with you. Due to that spirit. I'll try freeing it, but I fear the worst. <laughs> Nothing. The spirit, its essence, is gone. Johanna's trapped it in her lantern. Then let's find her. provides a way forward. We only need to search for it. Then let's get looking. A candle? This wasn't here before. Oh, let me think. We're in a receptive eddy of the Fade, and since Johanna's spirit summoning has already focused its mana, do you recall the ritual we performed in the Grand Necropolis? Concentrate on that memory. You mean when we were lighting candles? Find some more, and we can use them to leave this place. Here's that last candle. Excellent. Place them on the pedestals, if you would. Upon the let them form a new configuration. And with that, a bridge, it worked. 
We must find Johanna once we're out of here. The rift in the Fade will lie open until we deal with her. How did you get out so quickly? Where's Hezenkaz's voice coming from? The Hand of Glory resonates. It's pointing to the main hall. Let's go. I can feel Johanna summoning hostile spirits. That portal into the Fade won't close until we defeat them. But we still can't attack Hezenkaz herself while she's holding that lantern? The entire countryside would be torn apart in a maelstrom. out of the Fade. It's not difficult for those who treat spirits better than tools to an end, Johanna. Sentimental drivel. You may have stopped my work here, but Navarra City will know its new ruler. What, you gonna lecture us to death now? I'll not explain myself to one of Volcaran's hangers-on. Though the Professor clearly avoided mentioning his old colleague in exile. We made every attempt to bring you to reason. I gave you every chance to join me instead of whining endlessly about your mortality. But I must thank you for returning something dear to me. Lovely to have my hand back. I'd exchanged it with the Venatori for some favors after entering this... condition. Johanna, what have you done? What you never had the courage to! Sense anything wrong? We were successful. Johanna's magic no longer chains the spirits, yeah. and the fate is still. Great, okay. But let's talk back at the lighthouse. we freed those spirits from their suffering. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. Gladly.
Oh, the Song of the Chambers won't have anything on what your Hunters. Perhaps the Waking Scrolls. No. Manfred, have you seen the Felmarch manuscript? You were only alone in here for a minute after we got back. And how little I have to show for it. Okay, time to talk. Johanna Hesenkos was a watcher. She was banished for embracing the darker paths of our art. Forbidden magic, blood sacrifice, nothing is beyond her if it leads to power, recognition, or both. It sounded like you knew her before all that. We were friends, once. I guess it was a shock to see her back there then. An unexpected reunion. It wasn't always like this. She truly was brilliant, and we got on so well as students. We partnered on papers, rituals, research. Yet even then, Johanna considered the Watcher's oaths quaint. This isn't the first time we've crossed paths since she was exiled, but now I fear she's turned herself partly undead. I'm having trouble picturing how someone becomes partly undead. A skilled watcher can make subtle alterations. Hers are more extensive. You saw Johanna's Lantern of Unwilling Souls. A necromancer could create monstrous undead with that much stolen life. Hesengaz was yelling a lot about conquering Navara City. We must stop her, Rook. <laughs> Thank you, Manfred. Quite right. The Order's knowledge will see us through. Hesenkos had been stopped. For now. But she had big plans for Navara. City conquering, new ruler plans. <laughs> and while she had some regrets about long-lost friendships, she knew her greatest invention was going to bring down the house. many books in here about Ravain. Ravaini people tell stories more often than they write them down. You're still working? Just finishing some things up. You know you're being creepy, right? Why are you watching me? Because you haven't been sleeping and I wanted to figure out why. Oh, right. I have dreams now. When I go to sleep, I mean. I thought dwarves didn't dream. Solus used the dagger to rip the dreams from the Titans. Maybe when I touched it, the dreams came back? It, uh... It's... Unnerving. It's like my mind's telling a story to itself and is really bad at it. S 
Sometimes I have these dreams where I'm naked. What? And I have to make a speech or go to battle and I have no pants on. It's distressing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be. <laughs> I haven't had that particular dream. These days, I just dream I'm being chased, hunted. There's something that glows red just out of my sight. And I, I know it's going to get me, but I don't know how I know. You considered having a stiff drink or two? <laughs> yeah, you can keep your whiskey. Thanks for the laugh, by the way. Anytime. And now, I'm gonna get some sleep and hope the dreams are safe. Good luck. Dragon here? I never... Here it is. The Black Emporium. <laughs> we have company! <laughs> urchin! Where is that urchin? Oh, don't tell me I misplaced another one! <laughs> no matter.
this message. You're connected to the other Candlehop we met. Got it. Meet me in Ravain? I've got sparring practice with the Lords, and I could use the sea air. So could you. You know, that sounds quite nice. All right, then. I'll see you soon. Feels like home.
Hello there. Just admiring how carefully the fade is woven into this place. As cultivated as a palace garden. That's old elven stuff for you. Magic everywhere you look and also where you don't. I do envy you, Rook. Really? A Grey Warden facing down peril in the distant Anderfells and beyond? Not to mention traveling with Varric. The adventures you've already had. It just kind of... Uh, seems like my life. You don't regard anything you've done as singular? Work was always my excuse not to travel. But now that I've joined you, I'm finally exploring outside Navarra's crypts. Ah, speaking of the necropolis. Yes? I've been meaning to ask how you'd like your body prepared in the event of your death. Just cremate me. I feared that might be your answer. Why? Need the spare parts? I'm always here to discuss proper burial options. <laughs> ah, he's finished the reagent. Please excuse us. Excellent work, Manfred. Got the best gear for your beast fights. Oh, then some helmets. So... They said I could find you here. Good timing. I think I'm done for the day. The Lords of Fortune don't mess around, do they? Hey, thanks for the lessons. I'll be back. Ugh. I'm beat. I just gotta... You just gotta... Do you feel that? It's dark. And they're so afraid. So alone. Harding? What's happening? There's so many of them. All in my head. So... Much. Shit. Oh, uh, shit. I, uh... Hey, let's just talk. Talk to me. Uh, I could feel it. Rippling through the stone. Confusion. Isolation. Fear. Who's fear? Whatever was after me has turned on the dwarves. It's drawing me out. Drawing 
me down. And if I know you, you're gonna go because people are in danger. Absolutely. Then so will I. Good. That means whatever's out there, better run. Find any good loot lately? Hey, Rook. Quite a collection, huh? I can't believe you're asking for a favor as though nothing's happened. What crapped in your bed? <laughs> Sorry, uh, didn't know you two were in the Rook. middle of... Excellent. Come in. Uh, we could use a second, sober voice. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. It's a figure of speech. I was wondering when this would happen. I don't follow. You two didn't seem to be bonding. I need one of these little needle things to dig some crap out of my armor. Death Mage won't give me one. First, a bone threader is an extremely delicate instrument. Second, it's Emric, Tash. My name is Emric, not Death Mage, not Corpse Guy, not... I won't repeat the rest. What? You are a Death Mage. Why are all my attempts to converse with you met with scorn? What have I done to you, Tash? You talk about corpses too much. It's a rich topic. No, corpses are messed up. They used to have people in them. You make a move like they're alive, but they smell wrong and they move wrong and none of it is okay. Oh. Especially the ones with skin still on them. So what I'm hearing is Tosh isn't into terrifying dark magic. It's not all terrifying. And Emmerich would appreciate not being bullied and called names. Ugh. Fine. I'd no idea necromancy upset you so deeply, Tosh. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't think you feared anything. I don't. But I could have said it was bugging me. I didn't think you cared what I thought. Of course I do. We're colleagues on this journey. Okay. Sorry I called you a skull f liker Skull liker Maybe you two can find different things to talk about around each other. I'll try not to press on the subject of necromancy when we travel together, Tosh. Okay, thanks. It's fine if I ask about it first. In that vein, could we avoid any dragon trivia? What? Who doesn't like dragons? There's lots of other stuff to talk about. Tosh knows Ravain and the Coon. Emmerich knows Navara and plants. Plants? Plants are okay. I have always been curious about the Lords of Fortune. See? It's a start. Hey, 
Rook. Come to stare into the fire. I've heard that helps people think. Can't say I've had luck with it. Something wrong? Got a message. A place called the Cauldron was attacked. I've heard that name around Weishaupt. Never knew what it was. You do. It's a secret warden readout of some kind. No idea what goes on there. Then why are you involved? Because whatever attacked it sounds like the Gloom Howler. Then let's get rid of it. I had the same thought. What's left of the Wardens are still licking their wounds. So we handle this alone. Just go to the Cauldron and get the Griffins back. You have to promise to behave, boy. Listen to every word I say, stay out of trouble, don't do anything dumb, and don't eat any. I think we get the point. What happened to he'll learn by doing? Sink or swim? Yeah, but what if he sinks? I'm supposed to be the bodyguard. Keep that feathery butt safe. No shame in being worried. He grows on you. Well, that, and he keeps the mice away. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe that Turlum idea, that unity between Warden and Griffin, starts by having faith in each other. Maybe. I suppose you were born for this sort of fight, boy. All talons and temper. And a sharp tongue to remind you of it. As long as he backs it up. All right, I think we can make this work. I took work orders from all the wardens. Already? Yeah, and some of the villagers too. You're going to be busy. Gee, thanks. Hey Mila, how are the wetlands? Blighted. Right. The wardens have a lot to do. Got something in mind? Good to go. You need anything else, I'll be here.
fight. This particular trouble has Back to what we were saying. More troubles in Minraptis, huh? This particular trouble has a name. Alia. We could swap. The gloom, however, hurt. Throw in a sun and you might have a deal. You'll never get a good night's rest again. Dabrin, I think this is where those wardens were attacked. The cauldron. Let's have a look. doesn't look new. Did the blight drag it up from somewhere? How much blight is under the water? Oh. 
Yeah. A bad day at the cauldron. What could do that? And what are our warden cousins hiding inside? We won't find out standing around here. Be ready for anything. Hazan can get us up there. Seems we both spend our days hunting things most people don't want to know about. Nights, too. Nights are even worse. But it's easier to hide. For them or us. A stakeout's easier in the dark. So is getting jumped by an ogre. <laughs> That's a lot of dead wardens. Damn. They must have tried to stop the Gloom Howler. Amber! Keeping here. A dumping ground. Looks like every dangerous artifact or weapon the wardens ever came across. Might explain what the gloom howl is up to. Wouldn't mi mind having some of this stuff for myself. Don't even think about it. If it's also dangerous, the wardens locked it away. We're not touching anything. Destroy the blight, lower the bridge. Got it. This place has seen better days. If they named it the Cauldron, it probably wasn't great on its best day. We're not, not in yet. This is just an outer courtyard. The Cauldron would be underground. We need to find a way in.
handle this? Don't know. Looks useful if you want to move heavy equipment or something. Maybe the cauldrons and armory. Could be. Why hide it all the way out here? Doesn't make sense. We won't know until we get inside. Just down. Get in now. We're in. Welcome to the cauldron. I still don't understand what this place is. Let's find out. The signs over these doors, they look like years. 325? 524 here. There's 931. It's Blight's. The year they ended. That's not ominous. Look for a door we can open. Is that some kind of skeleton? Seems a little careless. This can't be... It's a griffin. They hate us. There's so many. Davran, how did you say the griffins went extinct? They died out fighting the fourth blight. Then Weishaupt hid them here? Why not give them a proper burial? I don't know. It's like they were keeping it secret. Gloomhowler's around here somewhere. Good. We need to save those griffins she stole. Hassan, you stay here. No questions. This is too much for you, boy. That's what the cauldron really is. A giant tomb. So the other rooms, with the dates of the blights. More archdemons. This one would be Zazikel. Well, that explains the bad feeling in the place. The Gloomhowler's in here somewhere. Let's find it. There's a blight here. Looks fresh. Then the Howler's close. 
It's no match for steel. Lies! Secrets long buried will have their day. Surrounded by friends. Surrounded by sharp claws. Whoever you are, face me! What are you? A war against the darkness. You are the darkness. You're a monster. To those who made me. Where are the other griffins? I liberated them. They don't belong to you. The Grey Wardens failed them. Grey Wardens rid the world of horrors like you. They created the horrors. The bones of griffins abandoned in this 
cauldron! Proud warriors forgotten. Who are you? Their salvation. The blood offers protection. Arch demon blood? You're blighting them? Protecting them. The same blood runs through your veins, Warden. Join with us and honor their future. I die first! Then this is your tomb.
Damn it! The gloom is gone. It's okay. Let it go. That thing needed to die today. Then how would we find where it's keeping the other Griffins? No, we have to keep our heads here. Never hunt things you don't understand. The Gloom Howler is more than a monster. Your quarry, your call. I got what I needed. The sun stripped a piece of its clothing. Gives me something to go on. <coughs> Even though I told you to stay put. He did save you. He could have been killed. He cares about you. <coughs> That's part of Turlum, right? Well, I suppose that was good form, extending your talents. That'll leave a scratch. Yeah, yeah. You're getting the hang of things. Let's go, boy. This place is pure evil. Can't say I ever want to see this place again. Ready to go? I'm ready. Me too. Archdemon blood's as dangerous as it gets. Grey Wardens keep it locked away for good reason. The stuff is pure evil. But not as evil as using it to blight the only griffins in the world. Now the Gloom Howler held that honor. Hassan's brothers and sisters needed a miracle. And it would be up to Davrin and his flying friend to deliver.